Hi, I'm the expert that's not the expert because I'm an amateur about PCs. But I know a lot, but I'm not an expert. I'm just an amateur. <laughs> so <clears throat> we're going to look at the other Antec fan that I own right now. <clears throat> there are others, and eventually I hope to be able to expand into some other Antec fans. Um, partially just because, you know, they are relatively inexpensive. They don't have a lot of variety, though. There's the, the Storm, which I've got. There's the P12, which I've got. And then there are the RGB, the Fusion, and the Prisms, uh, the, and then the F12 Racing, and the Neon. And then there's a Reverse, and I don't have any of those. The Lux platform. Uh, F Lux, sorry. So, yeah, um... Hopefully at some point I can look at some of these other fans, but right now we've got just one more to look at, and that's the P12. Now, unfortunately, one of the things I don't care about uh, in Antec is with these P12s, there's no labeling on the box as to what's inside that I, um, I've not, not been able to find useful information from Antec about it. Now, there is a sticker from Amazon because the five pack that I got, which is like this, does say P12. So I know from that. But otherwise, there is no indicator of what kind of fan from Antec is in here. Because the fan itself, as you can see, and it has nine blades, has got no indication of the model on it or volts or amps or any of the stuff that, you know, might be possibly useful. Model number, you know. Come on, Antec. So, it just kind of makes me wonder. But it does have corner cushions, which is funny because there are some other fans that I've re already reviewed that are more expensive than this, and they don't come with corner cushions. And that just doesn't make sense to me. Of course, personally, I would like to see... Uh, cushions in the holes to deaden vibration, but you can use the silicone pins and uh, mounting pins instead, and that should do the trick. Should. Can't say for sure. Anyways, no LEDs, obviously. The There's an interesting design around the, uh, the hub on this side. I don't know how well you can see that, but don't know what why it's there what it means if anything it kind of looks like a what the heck is that yeah i don't know <laughs> all right but this uh fan is a little bit surprising in terms of what it has to offer let's listen first yep false alarm Try that again. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. There you go. This this has a starting uh, voltage of like 10.8 or something like that. So it, I'm going to try to go lower. See how low I can go. Because supposedly this can go down a bit. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Not supposed to touch the... F Microphone against the <laughs> the hub of the fan. Now the uh, blades and frame of this fan uh, do have a little bit of texturing on them, <clears throat> whereas the previous fan didn't have any texturing on the blades. Very low pitched noise from this fan. Even at low speed here. How low can I go? Limbo, limbo, limbo like this boy. All right, well, now it's in, now it's inaudible and it's going really slowly. So it's way below the uh, 
the expected RPMs for minimum, or I can't hear it. So the um, rating that they gave is not correct, but that low tone comes in very soon. I'm still, it's still going very slowly. And that tone just persists on the low end of the scale here. Although now it's kind of moving into the mid. Now, one of the interesting things about this that you may not realize is this fan is only rated to go up to 1400 RPMs, but it has a static pressure of 1.29. Imagine what the static pressure of this fan would be if they wouldn't have limited it to 1400. That is an interesting thought, but well, I don't have control over that, so let's just compare it to the Noctua and F A12 by 25, as usual. I'm starting to hear the Noctua. That high-pitched tone always comes out so quickly. <clears throat> Now it's starting to, uh, I think it's about at the same level of noise. Yeah. So it's interesting with both of these fans, you can really, really hear the noise production um, at a, sp a specific pitch. Even though they've got vastly different um, bearings. This is a hydraulic bearing, and the Noctua has got the SSO2 special hydro. I'm thinking it's my, it might be um, hydrostatic, but I'm not really sure. <coughs> I really haven't looked into it. If anybody can confirm that it's a hydrostatic, that would be great. So, yeah, um... This fan should be good on a case. It should be good on a uh, heatsink as well. If you can figure out how to modify the controller so it'll go faster than 1400 RPMs, then probably you could <clears throat> also put it on a radiator to, if you can get it to go fast enough, but it's going to be pretty noisy, I would say. And that's probably why they limited it to 1400 RPMs. But I think it's a shame because it has potential, I feel. Um, yeah, so that's about all there is for that. Um, could you do me a favor, please? Help me spread the word about this channel. Uh, share videos that you think are useful or interesting or whatever. And also, it doesn't have to be the fan videos. It can be any of the videos, really. I mean, I mean, most of my videos are about fans, but that's just because that's where I'm, that's my starting point. And um, buying fans is, in general, a lot cheaper than buying most other parts of a computer. You know, it's, and um, I'm not ready for the technical side of things like SSDs, motherboards, graphics cards, sound cards, processors, that sort of thing. <clears throat> and this is um, something that I can handle for now. I mean, I'm still, I'm always still learning. I mean, that's part of the reason why I call myself the expert amateur because I'm always still learning, always picking up new things. It's very interesting, you in know, in a way, in a you know, very restricted kind of way. Um, so, yeah, but please like and subscribe too. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's look at the data now. All right. So, uh, just as a note, um, I got the five pack, and the five pack is only available on Amazon. Doesn't matter whether it's black or white. You can get a single pack or a three pack elsewhere, but only the five packs are available at Amazon. Sorry, the uh, the five packs are only available at Amazon, <clears throat> just so you know. Uh, so this is a completely black fan, except for the white of the logo on the label on both sides. <coughs> and it's a $30 package. So you get five fans uh, and two splits.
adapters and I think some extension cables for $30. Uh, there is no certification of any kind that I can see, at least not on the packaging. I don't know if perhaps if I look at like a smaller um, number of fans, I might see it on their website, but I haven't been able to find it. They're made in China, 120 by 25 millimeter fans, 40,000 hours for the bearing versus Noctua's 150 plus, 150,000 plus. One year warranty versus six years it's 145 grams versus 200 for the Noctua. Both have nine blades, 100, and the standard mounting hole distance, 550 to 1400 versus 450 to 2000. And I think that if this fan were allowed to go all the way up to 2000, it would probably blow away the Noctua, but it'd be really noisy. Plus or minus 10% variance. The airflow is a maximum of 60.4. The static pressure is 1.29, and you, the range of noise is going to be between 12.1 and 34.4. The fan's cable is 45 centimeters long. There's no cabling or daisy chaining. It's PWM, hydraulic bearing, 12 volts, and 10.8 to 13.2 uh, range for the voltage. So it needs a lot of volts just to get going, but you can actually turn it down below the 10.8 once you get it going. Um, 1.2 rated watts with a max of 1.92, and that is fairly similar to the Noctua. Uh, however, the Noctua starts at 5 volts, has a rated watt, um, wattage of 1.2 and 1.68 respectively. The amperage is the same. Uh, although it's a little bit greater at the maximum for the uh, Antec. It indicates direction of flow and rotation. It's clockwise spinning fan, four screws per fan, corner cushions. You get uh, some three-way connectors or splitters, sorry. I think there's uh, supposed to be uh, extension cable in there. I've used it somewhere or other. Um, <coughs> and that is... Uh, all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day.